guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Marilyn and if you're not new welcome back so today I am going to be doing my project pan update number five and today is June 4 hopefully I could get it out by today if not you guys are going to be seeing this on the fifth but anyways I have all of my products right here so let's begin with a setting spray that I am using and it is a fresh garden botanical skincare face mist and hemp seed and it's this one right here i got this one from ross i believe yeah ross and i did make a little bit of progress hopefully you guys could see it's just a little teeny tiny bit but there you go i did make a little bit of progress so i'm really happy with that and so i am going to be marking it and I feel like this is going to take me all year to finish. Okay, so the next product is a face primer and it is an Elf Poreless Pootie Primer. And it's this one right here. And I will insert a picture of how it looked last month. And this is what it looks like now. Hopefully you guys could see that I have made a little bit of progress. So I'm really happy with this. Okay, so the next product is another face primer, and this one is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Protector. <laughs> Perfector, I mean. And last month, I started right here on this line. Hopefully, you guys can see it. And I haven't really made any progress, or I don't know, have I? I think I have. I think it's like down to here now. Here, let me try to get all the product down. I did make a little bit of progress. It's like down to here now, so... I'm going to mark it so I can't wait to see next month's progress hopefully I use it more so the next product is a lip gloss and it is the peel holographic lip gloss and I actually finished this so I'm super happy as you can see last month was down to here and well now I finished it I mean it still has a little bit of product I don't know if you guys can see it's like right on the bottom but the little spoolie doesn't reach down there the applicator so I can't get anything out and I did remove the stopper as well I can't get anything else and I've also tried to put it upside down and the product won't go down so it's pretty much done and I will put it in my empties but first before I do that I'm actually going to try to see if I could put this on the other lip gloss okay so here is the other lip gloss and it is a Tartus lip gloss in the shade flaming hot and it's this one right here hopefully you guys can see I have made progress it's down to here I'm going to use my flashlight so you guys could see so there you go it's like down to here I'm super excited that I've made progress on this lip gloss and if you guys haven't been here with me since I started using this lip gloss and my project pen I did break the lid in my purse I don't know how it happened but it happened so now I'm going to see if this one fits in here, which I don't know if it is actually. Oh, is it fitting? Oh my gosh, I think it's the same. It doesn't close all the way in. Well, that sucks. So I'm just going to have to use this lip gloss a lot so I could finish it because I don't want it to dry out and I really like this lip gloss it's one of my favorites and I love the smell and I love that it has shimmer so yeah anyways I'm going to be marking my lip gloss down to here so I won't forget later okay so the next product is a lip liner and it's by Steve Lauren and it's this one right here and look how small it is now so I'm super happy that I've made progress in this one. I will insert a picture on the side of last month. I'm going to measure this one. So right now it is two inches. Hopefully you guys could see. So yeah, I'm super excited that I'm almost done with this. Maybe by next month it'll be completely gone. But anyways, I'm super happy how the progress of this lip liner is going. So the next lip product is a lipstick by Maybelline and it is a 235 warm me up lipstick and it looks like this and this is the lipstick right here it's a super pretty lipstick here I'm going to swatch it for you guys if you guys want to see it this is what it looks like it's a super pretty pink and I feel like it's perfect for spring and summer but anyways I'm going to measure the lipstick and I think I measured it like 
you've seen the bottom of this I don't remember but I will insert a picture on the side so it's almost at three inches and a half and this lipstick I don't think I've made that much progress but anyways I don't think I've made that much progress on this lipstick because I've only used it a couple of times because I've been concentrating on this lip gloss because I want to finish it because it's obviously broken but anyways hopefully I could finish it by I don't know the end of August hopefully we'll see okay so the next product is the banana powder by revolution I'm trying to make it even so you guys can see okay so it looks like I haven't made any progress at all with this powder as you can see the line is right there and the powder is well right there obviously and that's weird because I feel like I've been using it more so I don't know I guess I have to use it more 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 but anyways um hopefully there's more progress next month because it's kind of disappointing that it doesn't go down okay now on to blush so i do have two blushes in my project pen and the first one is the alamar cosmetics blush the colorete trio blush and this one i got it in a boxy charm and this is what it looks like now and i'm super happy that i've made so much more progress and as you guys can see, I did hit pan on this one because I've been mixing these two. Well, I've been mixing all three, but I've been using this one and this one more. So that's why there's no pan on this one. Anyways, I will include a picture of last month right here so you guys can see the difference. So I'm really happy about this. Okay, so now the next blush that I've been using is a NARS orgasm blush and it's this one right here and this one I have made progress as well I did hit pan it's not much but you guys could see it's like right there so I'm super excited for this and I will also include a picture so you guys could see what it looked like last month and like I said I do use this blush as a topper and I love it because it makes my blush super pretty and shimmery so yeah so I'm super happy with the progress of my blushes okay now on to the last product and this one is a eyeshadow palette and it is the candy peaches by Jacob and Ellie and the three shades that are in my project pan are gumbo jawbreaker and jelly these three right here and I only use those shadows a couple of times this month and I feel like I kind of got bored of them and I want to use the oranges now so so now I'm not going to be using those shadows I mean I am but I'm not going to be concentrating on those three shadows so now I want to start using gummy this orangey shade and the shade rings this one right here they're super pretty I've been using these as well and I love it so I might as well try to hit pan on these two and see this is what they look like they're super pretty and I feel like they're perfect for summer because I don't know I feel like orange matches summer that's what I think but anyways I'm going to be using those and maybe the jelly bean shade right here too it's a super pretty like pinky orange shade and it's also like a shimmer I don't know if you guys can see super pretty so I'm going to be including those three shades into my project pan and hopefully there's progress next month I'm super excited for that so before I forget I am going to insert a picture of last month so you guys could compare and see the difference So anyways, that is all for my project pan. If you guys are also doing project pan, let me know so I could go watch your videos. And anyways, that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.